Hey guys, what's up? How are you? It's Anna here and today we're gonna be talking about dancing in high heels. I have so many people commenting on my videos on Instagram and in YouTube shorts when I shuffle dance in high heels like oh my god how does she do it in those high heels? I can barely walk etc. Okay so today we're gonna dive in into that into how to dance in the high heels. Not about the moves but about the heels themselves. All right, so first thing first, the most important thing are the heels, of course. So these are the heels I'm gonna be using today. They are not particularly comfortable, but I thought this is gonna be a very good example for you guys. So the heel, the height of the heel should be what's comfortable for you, you know? For me, this is, this is it. It should have a strap on the back so it holds your foot whenever you kick so it doesn't fly away and hit, some, and hit somebody in the head like that, you know? <laughs> so you want it to hold your foot over here too so it's kind of all secure and nice and please don't take a platform, nothing super high over here it should be very nice and flat just to start to feel yourself uh, to get more comfortable and when you're gonna be super comfortable with that then you can put the platforms and it's gonna be freaking amazing. I hope you found your heels. Let's change into them and let's dance. All right guys, so first thing first, if you don't feel comfortable in your heels, if you're always like walking in flats and this is like the first time ever you put your heels on, probably don't start dancing just yet. Take some time to walk around and feel comfortable. For me, when I dance in the heels, I don't really feel like I'm in the heels in particular. Like, I'm not thinking about the heels, I'm just comfortable and dancing. So, in your mind, you should be already so comfortable, so comfortable wearing your heels that it just feels like an extension of your foot, sort of. So, when you're dancing and making some moves, it's not an obstacle, but you know, it's just, it's just what it is, and you make it work. <laughs> For me, one of the key things in dancing in heels is that you keep your weight, like I, it's the weight is never distributed evenly or like it's not distributed, it's not on my heel, you know, when you think, like you would think it's on your heel, like no, it's not because you put all your weight onto your heel, probably it's gonna break. So the majority of my weight is actually over here, so you're always sort of dancing on the tippy toes. Oh, actually, you know what? That's a fantastic idea. You can take your heels off and just go onto your tippy toes. So this is the position when you're in the heels, when you're dancing in the heels. Now, this is how your weight is. Just a little bit of it goes to the heel, of course, because you have the support there, but right now you don't, and this is actually how it feels. So you can actually go onto your tippy toes and try dancing like that, try shuffling like that. If you know how to shuffle, if you know the basic moves, the running man, you know, if you saw some of my tutorials already, just go ahead and try that. If you haven't, just try um, walking like that, just try jumping like that. Just everything on your tippy toes. Let's go. Like, I know you can feel already like everything over here tightens, but you know, that's what it is. When you walk in your high heels, you always have pain over here. And when you go onto your tippy toes, everything over here is gonna tense and it's gonna be intense workout for this. So that's fine. Never mind, we have some guests here. Just, you know, keep trying that.
Alright, so when you are already comfortable tiptoeing like that, you can move ahead and put your high heels. Let's do that. Alright, we are back into the high heels, so let's go ahead and just try to jump. Just let's just hop, hop around. We can do both of your feet at the same time and then one by one. Okay, at this point you have to feel super comfortable. If you are not feeling comfortable, don't go past this point. Go back, walk more, jump more, tiptoe more, train more. Train your muscles first so you don't injure yourself, all right? For those of you who are already feeling comfortable, for those who maybe shuffle, let's go ahead and try to do a running man with the heels on, okay? Let's break it down. So we are doing and one and two. If you haven't seen any of the shuffle dance tutorials, I'm gonna put down a link into the basic running man step so you get yourself familiar with that. And then you come back here and we're gonna move forward with the running man in our heels. All right, so here you can see initially we have three moves. We have the flamingo step. Actually, we have like two moves. We have the flamingo step, the, kind of the flamingo leg upwards, and then we step out with both feet away from us right so everything is done in a jump so if you haven't if you have seen other of my tutorials i always say that shuffle dancing is like a series of mini jumps in high heels i know like in different styles of shuffle dancing you can implement those moves differently and you can not jump you can slide you can do it in different manner but in the high heels particularly you have to jump there is no kind of sliding because you can break your heel. The heel can got up, can, the heel can get caught up in the surface of the floor, which is also super super important. Pay attention to where you are dancing. You know, I am already comfortable enough with my heels, so I can make this floor work. But for you, especially if you're a beginner, try to find something flat. If you know what I mean. All right, so let's go ahead with the running man. So we have and one and one and two and three and then we're gonna speed it up and it's gonna be turn 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 oh that's backwards turn 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 and one and two and three and four you see it's like kind of like a wheel is turning and one and two and three This is very simple, let's try it fast. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so over here you don't have to open your legs super wide. That's kind of difficult, so you can just kind of stand. So you can just kind of keep your feet under yourself. So just you can just keep it over here. I'm like exaggerating my steps to show it to you, but you know, in the world, you can just keep it over here. So this is already a next step, you know. If you do like a running man, we always keep, you know, with everything I said, we always keep our weight over here. So then you can just play around with it and you can go from the running man into the heel kick but here your heel is not really for kicking you know it's just for like kind of it's not for really kicking it's just for like making a sign kind of like you're pretending because <laughs> you don't want to break your heel you know if 
you don't want to injure yourself. So actually, everything here is very, very simple. You can go, so then you can go here, here, yeah, to the other side. You know this little, we can get into this later on, but you know, all these moves and the Miami step, like all the shuffle dance moves, you can do them in heels. Shapes, you can do them in heels easy. So we're gonna get into all of that later, but I think this was a good introduction lesson, I guess, introduction and the running man. <laughs> and this was a good first step for us. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.